Good evening, this is Denise the Human, and welcome to Terra Nil, a beautiful, well, reverse city builder, really. You're going to take a horrible wasteland and turn it into something beautiful once again. Oh, it's a lovely little idea, this, and uh, at the moment, very much in early access demo form. So uh, there'll be a bit of polishing up to do, and I'm sure we'll be wanting to see how this one turns out, because this is a wonderful little game. So let's get started and see what it's all about. We begin in a desolate wasteland. The fallout has clearly taken over all and we need to uh, rejuvenate the wasteland by covering it in beautiful, beautiful greenery. And to do that, we've got ourselves a few bits of equipment. So let's give ourselves a bit of a wind turbine. You can see there we've kind of got uh, leaves or monies, whatever we want to refer to them as. And over here we have the toxin scrubber. And this will, as you might imagine, scrub the toxins from the land. And that will mean we can start to grow some things once again. So I'm going to just get a few of these built up. Now, we are eventually going to run out of our money. So we do need to be careful at some point. And one way of getting your monies back is to, yes, there we are, try and greenify some of this. So that's that'll do for now. That'll do. If you're going to be OCD about this, by the way, chat, um, I'm going to cause you many, many problems because I'm going to do this terribly and probably fail brutally. I haven't actually fully completed this yet. I've had a little play around, not too much. So at the start, it's all nice and simple, really. We're just going to start digging up more and more of this ground here. And gradually, we're going to make it greener and greener. Oh, it is lovely. It's, um, it's quite a nice little peaceful game here. You can... You can zoom, you can flip these things around a little bit. I've got myself stuck a bit too zoomed in right now. There we are, 103. Let's go for that. So yeah, obviously you want to kind of do this once you've actually scrubbed up a bit more because you can see there the water reached the other side and didn't do anything at all. So uh, yes, we need to get a bit more scrubbing done. But for that, we need a few more of these. As we continue to spread out then, you can see that, yes, as we take over these trees... They're going to start looking all the more beautiful. So let's see if we can grab... Oh, that's a delicious bite of the cherry, that one. Uh, you know what? We'll just we'll just keep it nice and straight for now. We'll just mop up this area here. And the tree... Oh, this... There we go. I thought the tree wasn't going to live for a moment there. There we are. We have ourselves a lovely tree. That will become in use for a little bit... Or become useful a little bit later. But for now... But now we're going to continue to build more of these. We should probably be slightly more efficient than I'm currently being, however. And in fact, we're actually quite a long way away from these trenches. And as you might well imagine, these trenches are useful for filling them up with water. So if we go and plonk one down, it will start to fill it with water. And that's, oh yeah, that is beautiful. This is really the key to bringing this world back to life. It truly is now, it's also quite important because there are certain areas where we can't really get to. We need the stones to put up the wind turbines and to get to the stones. Well, we can create our own with the calcifier here, but that does require some water. So, yeah, some areas like this are looking a bit, a bit barren right now. Um, not a lot we can do with it. So I'm just going to turn some of that to stone, which means we can then build ourselves a new wind turbine over here. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself to be honest because there's quite a lot of land over here which is still looking uh, pretty wastelandy so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get this all sorted out first but if you want to go and uh, spend all of your money like an absolute madman well then you do have the uh, the big cannon of doom which I should have thought about before I, uh, before I did that last bit of work there. So what we're going to do we are, yeah, there we are. That, well, that would destroy my machine. I think that's going to destroy my machine. That would be clever. Well, you know what? Let's just show you them. So we're going to use the Doom Ray here. Everyone loves a good Doom Ray. Kablamo. Oh, no, we got away with it. We got away with it. And that means that as we add more water in, there we go. Oh, yeah, so it can spread this way. That gives us more options. We can obviously calcify the water or calcify some of the land around it to get ourselves more wind turbines. And this will be a lot more useful later on as well. So uh, we'll get to that when it becomes relevant. But for now, let's just say, yeah, getting ourselves a few of these waterways will be quite, kind of key. 
And as I start to splurge away all of my leaf monies, it's probably time to uh, lay down a few of these lovely, lovely things, but in a rather ridiculous fashion. If I can actually get it to be straight any time. There we go, 143. Annoyingly, it doesn't quite reach the end there. That's quite irritating, to be honest. But we'll punk it down there just to annoy everyone. That's even more annoying because now we have that little end patch that we can't quite fulfill. But hey-ho. We will get ourselves a big pile of extra greenery and a big pile of extra monies as we go along. So as you can see, like it's it's just a very satisfying game. It's a bit like when you play um, oh the Power Washer Simulator, absolutely magnificent game. Um, there's just something really satisfying about bringing the greenery back. Some things like these blobs here are somewhat less satisfying, but we'll, um, we'll worry about those a little bit later. So let's just continue then to keep on building, keep on extending all of my beautiful green territory. Time to waste all my money with a big rocket machine. As I say, this will be very useful later, so we're just going to continue. Sometimes there's a bit of spare water around. There we go. There's a little bit just about trickling along. I might plonk one actually up here. Can I manage that? I don't think that's going to quite get up that little hill there. No, it's not. So that's fine, to be honest. We'll we'll plonk. Oh, no, that is, that's the calcifier. That's why that was a problem. It does tell you, by the way, if it's going to spread a little bit further. So we'll just dump a bit more water into all of this. That will just spread it out gradually, which is lovely. And in time, that might just be a good bit of news for us. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Probably time to keep on splashing down the green. And, oh, we can get some nice bits done here. Very nice bits done indeed. Oh, what's the best decision with all of this? You know what? I can probably go for go for an L shape over like this. We'll leave that little patch for now. We'll sort it out later. As you can probably imagine, um, first task here is to get ourselves up to 100%, which just basically means that we've got enough greenery to start a... Uh, Moving on to the next stage, which is not too far from at this point. Though I have slightly been pushing my numbers a bit close to the edge here. But I think we're doing fine. We've got plenty of room down here to expand into. I could be slightly more efficient. Um, I don't need perfect efficiency, but I probably should be doing something slightly more sensible than I currently am. But I'm going to try and to stop missing some of those very good chunks that I have been so far because it's probably driving some people absolutely mad. So that's probably the best bit for now, but it will... Mm. Uh, I would kind of like to get that spot, but now I've ruined all of that nonsense. Actually, no, this is good, this is good. 123, let's take that. We're just going to leave a tiny blow over there. It's fine, we'll drown it later or something like that. Up to 89, nearly there now. There we go. So we're now at 101%. We are now able to move on to section two, which is to uh, diversify, diversify the biomes that we have so far created. Now, first one we should probably do is get the research center down. That can go somewhere, not really sure where sensible. We'll just plonk it down there for now. That's marvelous. That just means everything we've already been doing is now half price. We will continue to want to use those machines though, so that is something we need to think about. Oh look, we can see the birds start to appear now. Yes, yeah, some lovely, lovely geese, a lovely gaggle of geese up there in the sky. We'll start to see a few animals here and there appear. You can see um, this is kind of where where the kind of, uh, yes, the demo version comes to effect. Things like the animals are very, very basic and pixely right now. But I think the general aesthetic is very pretty. Look at the lovely water glistening in the sun. So let's have a little look at these biomes then. So a few things we can do. We can give ourselves some lovely, lovely beehives in the trees. And we create ourselves meadows. Now the meadows are interesting for a couple reasons. Number one, because, um, well, we kind of want to set fire to them, to be honest. So, yes, we, we, if we set fire to them, we can then create the very, very fancy area that uh, can only be built out of ash forest. So um, we, we will work on that one in time. Let's go and set up a few of these beehives. That will be lovely. They're super cheap to get set up. Now, what we're going to do, though, obviously, is set fire to it, which is potentially problematic. So we're going to get the doom thing over here. 
So, lovely, lovely, lovely. Plonk that down there. And we'll also get the fire machine of doom. And hopefully, that will now set fire to things. Now, the water should stop it from spreading too far. Uh, it does, does burn down um, quite a lot if you're not careful. So, hopefully, this is a good amount. There we are. So, yeah, it has destroyed some of our infrastructure as well. We need to be wary of that. But it does mean now we can put down this. Oh, yes. So, what do we want to do? Only 35 or so over there. 31 there. 126. Okay. That now gives us beautiful, dense forest. And that's quite a fair chunk of the forest that we need. Not quite all of it, though. So... We'll have to burn down something else yet. Maybe... Oh, I've even got a tree over here. Yeah, this is where not having too big of an area can be useful. Because I'm now going to destroy this entire area in order to uh, get myself a nice forested one. Okay, well, it looks like that's what we're going to be doing once again. So, let's give ourselves another go. Uh, another little set fire to the world. And there we are. We've burnt all the bees! All of the bees have been uh, slightly destroyed at this point. But that should mean... I'm just trying to see if I can get a good position. Ah, yes, there we are. That's a nice one. There we are. We now have enough of this biome. Although, I wouldn't mind if I can get a good position for it. Slightly extending it in this ash. Hmm. None of these are particularly great positions. 36 is okay. So we'll just extend that forest a little bit more. That means we've got plenty of this. And we've also got a fair amount of our lovely hives which we can continue to extend if we want to that will just generally cost us there we are that's okay if it's on the edge it will spread across which is good to see do we have any others over here you might do a similar job minus 10 no none quite doing the job you will plus 24 magnificent stuff and that's a minus two so probably no need to worry about any of that until we've cleaned up a little bit more so with the final one of these biomes, I can't remember, to be honest. Oh yeah, the watery ones. The watery ones are very pretty indeed. Now where do we need these exactly? Going to be built on an irrigator near water. Okay, so we're going to update the irrigator. Oh yes, that is absolutely magnificent. Look at that. Here's another one. 17 there. And all these different biomes are, well, they're pretty for one, but uh, they've also been useful as we move forward. So are there any others right on the water side? You're near enough. That's a minus two though. So perhaps we just need to, yeah, we need to do a little bit more updating first. So we need to head back here. Just make sure we fill up a little bit more of the land. At this point, it seems like we've got a lot of monies, but um, we do need to be careful about that. We probably want a little bit of a surplus because especially when you set fire to things, sometimes you do destroy your infrastructure. That's not necessarily a good thing. Now we created a forest, we might as well destroy the forest immediately by making a big pool of water drip through it. But there is method to the madness, I think. There was some reason that we do this. Also we do need, yeah, well we do certainly need to get ourselves a few more rocks in this direction so that we can start creating ourselves. Yeah, probably a good idea actually to do pretty much this. And that way we can start to get some nice calcifying going on. Which hopefully means that we can get ourselves a little bit more power because we're currently very much lacking in power in this part of the world. There we go. Okay, so that gives us a little bit more reach, which is kind of what we need at this point in time. That should pretty much, yeah, cover us in that corner, which is lovely. And then we can start to move over this way as well. Look at that. You see, the waterways are... Well, they're not looking that natural right now, but they're, they're, they're efficient, damn it. And with that, are we going to get a decent placement here? Just about 80 isn't terrible. 90, there we are, that would help. <laughs> okay, 98 isn't too bad. Nice green patch moving along here. We probably want to continue, though, this river strand along the back end here, just for future-proofing. So... But we can probably start yeah, fixing up some of these biomes again, actually. So let's go back onto the green thing. We can... Um, the problem is I've, I've kind of got too many useless bits of land here that I've kind of just left a little bit by themselves. So I guess we'll have to uh, yeah, sort out one or two of these problems first.
I think this might just be close enough to do the job. There we go, and that one counts. So make this nice and wet. It's kind of nice around the rocks. I quite like that from this patch over here. We'll kind of just ignore that that exists very close now. And that should mean that we are doing a little bit better when it comes... Okay, we are hmm, trying to see if, where we can get this to reach. That isn't the worst thing in the world, but we do have better placements over in the corner over here. You know what? We should probably just get right into that corner. That's a good spot there, Thomas. That's much more efficient. Yeah, that's what we need. And we'll do that. That's not probably the most efficient, but it does at least keep it tidy in the corner. And just maybe, just maybe, yeah, we can just get about that area there. Which should mean nice bit of filled up land. 68, 80 odd. That's pretty nice, but we should probably prioritise this corner down here first. Come on, let's get the corner. That's not a corner. Still not a corner. That's the corner I'm looking for. Okay, not as high a score as it could have got, but probably better in terms of the general planning. Okay, so that's looking a lot better now. That should give us a couple more potential biomes that we can fix up. It's minus seven. That one's too far away, so let's not worry about that immediately. What we could do, though, is... Yeah, that's going to spread into this area. Get us a little bit closer. See if there's any other nice trees we can fill out. There might be, actually, over in this part of the world. Minus 12, plus 11. We'll take a plus 11. Just a little bit more to the beehives. Anything else we can do about all of you? Oh, yeah, we're having some nice new land over here. Plus 9 on there. Oh, we're getting close. I think we just about have what we need now. We can get our beehives over here. That's ah, so close. Not quite. Not quite enough, apparently. But, 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 but. We should have what we need over here. We have the waterways. So let's get this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what we're looking for. This is much, much more beautiful now. Isn't that lovely? As I say, we're just going to keep these waterways kind of working towards the corners. Helps give us more and more options. Actually, I might just uh, dump a bit of water down over here. Not the worst idea in the world. There we are. Trickle that into there. That is very pretty indeed. Okay, we just need a tiny bit more on the beehives. And that's pretty much us ready for the next phase. But is there a good spot for this yet? There isn't a good spot where we can leave it. That's zero. <laughs> I mean, it's not the end of the world if I, if I kind of expend a little bit. It will at least get me the biodiversity we need. Okay, so now we've done this, we have essentially... Well, we've made a mess is what we've done. As ever with humanity, whenever we try and fix things, we kind of, kind of often make things worse. And in some ways we've made it beautiful, but we've kind of left it with all of these big lumps of uh, machinery around. So our job now is to clean up. Um, I'll be honest, I can't really quite work out how these two temperature things work or how they make much difference, but um, I, I might just ignore those for the time being. I mean, you can see there, like it's saying plus 13 to the temperature. I'm not really sure how that's going to help me. Maybe I need to um, have a little look-see at this. So it uses water and wetland to increase humidity, but wasteland decreases it. I I don't understand what's going on, my good sir. Maybe that one needs a bit better explain um, after the demo. I don't know. I feel like the tooltip isn't quite giving me what I need to there. But what I do need, well, I need some money, actually. I, I pushed myself very close to the limit here, and I shouldn't have left me with that much left to do. I might not quite have enough to complete this, but what we need is this. We need an airship. And for the airship, we're going to need a few different things to help us out. So, we need a recycling drone. I probably need the airship first, though. So, where is the best place? I don't really know, but we're just going to plonk it down here. So, down we go with the airship. And we're just going to get ourselves a lovely little drone. And the recycling drone is going to go and collect things up from the loading dock and the silos. So, okay. I'm not sure how useful... It is to use the silos uh, rather than just using the loan dock. But basically what it's going to do is it's going to destroy all the buildings in that area, which can be useful if you've completed it. It's not particularly useful if you haven't. So 
Over here, for example, hmm, well, do I want that pylon destroyed? Because they're clearly not done in this corner. I don't know, you know. And the problem is all these little gaps I've left. Well, it doesn't need to be 100% complete, but I don't like the gaps, damn it. Okay, oh look, we've got some lovely, lovely pixelated deer. There's a dead deer over there as well, which is how nature intended it. Oh, lovely. As I say, things will start to appear. There will be fish in the water at some point. I don't see them right now. Maybe they'll appear as we clean. Oh, there we are. There are some bees, some tasty, tasty bees. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah, you can see some of those little um, little things, and maybe maybe they'll be touching up when they get to the eventual release. But it's a really lovely little game, this. And I like the fact that even at this point, you know, we've made it look beautiful, but yes, we've we've left a mess. We need to go and tidy it up now. So uh, let's go and do that, I suppose. What I could do, for example, this is pretty much all sorted out. This area over here doesn't need too much more, although I could do with some water into this bucket or bucket the water. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Anyway, I'm going to go, I think, and do a little bit more of adding this stuff because I will get extra leafies as I uh, recollect my stuff. It will build the airship, it will recycle it, but it will also give me some of my funding to continue with the project. So what I need to do, I guess, is calcify some of this, give me a few more options. And part of the reason that we want all of this interconnecting water areas is so that we can indeed go and recycle everything because obviously these little silos here, all these collection points, have themselves a radius and there we go you see that's going to give me a little bit of recycled material and that's going to start building up the ship we're now nine percent of the way to building our ship but I'm a little bit unhappy at how much mess i've been leaving around as i've gone here so okay we'll have to work this one out this area is okay we can probably afford to pick up all of this ah okay that's actually in the way i hadn't realized that so the the water fillers actually do block the way does that mean I can't quite reach this building here? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out very, very soon. So there's a careful balance now of trying to get as much of this as possible cleaned up. And equally, okay, that's fine. So, but equally, yes, trying to make sure that you actually finish the job because you don't want to leave things lying around. I guess you, I'm assuming you can leave a little bit left. Uh, I don't think you need to clean up 100%. Maybe you do. I don't know. But for now, we're looking okay. And as you can see, we've got these interconnected waterways, which means we can at least get around and fill up as much as uh, of our ship as possible. Up to 18% already, which isn't too bad. But we are going to need to reinvest the monies. Hopefully, because we've organised this in a way where all the waterways get us to most corners of the map, we will maybe be fine. <laughs> But there are still chunks like over here that I quite like to fix up. So ideally to do that though, I'd need to get my little excavator and then I need to use the calcifier. It's 140 before I've even used any of these. So it, I need to get 200 to invest in even trying any of that nonsense. And there are still gaps. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm not doing a very good job here. But we're 18% of the way there. So we're getting somewhere but it wouldn't be the worst idea, I suppose, to get myself a little bit more water. Marvellous, that didn't break the game. That's good news indeed. It looks like the water is just about filled out everywhere, which is good news. Down here is all nicely filled out now. So, you know what? We might just manage to do this, but there's still, still a bit left if we can manage it. Here we go then, the big old kablamo, which unfortunately does cause damage around the map. We didn't kill the deer, which is good news. <laughs> and uh, we seem to be out of water in this part of the world, which is also unfortunate. So we're just going to keep on wasting all of our money on that nonsense. And as I say, it's expensive business doing it this way, because now we're going to turn this deer into a rock. We did indeed. <laughs> that deer is now a rock, which is, um, I suppose, just the way that life goes sometimes. Sometimes you mind your own business and sometimes you get turned into a rock. Bit of a shame, bit of a shame that. So, hmm, can we do this in a slightly more efficient way? We're going to try doing it like this. But as you can see, we're almost out already. Oh, we're going to be left with a strip, which is really irritating. But you know what? We'll just have to do it. There is actually an undo button, by the way. You get one undo. If you run out, you will obviously lose, so you can undo it and replace it, assuming you haven't already 
left things absolutely ruined. But you know what? Oh, we're at 7% now because I placed more buildings down. So uh, I've got to recycle them all over again. At this point, I should probably just recycle what I've got and see where that gets me. Slowly the ship is coming together. Oh, isn't that just beautiful? Now, we're starting to get some of our monies back, but I'm quite concerned that I'm going to completely ruin this at this point. Uh, we're going to try and do what we can, but I do fear that, yes, if you need to reinvest the money, oh, there are the fishies, yeah, you need to start putting up all of your infrastructure again because, obviously, you've just destroyed it. So, a bit concerned. A few problems. Number one, this is up a waterfall. Can't really see that from this angle. Um... Uh, didn't realise that. There is a machine for that, but that costs a bit of money. And for some reason, this um, this doesn't... I can't come through here. I don't know if that counts as this. It doesn't. It just doesn't count as connected because of the wetland. Which is a bit unfortunate. I feel like that was definitely a gap, but it's not actually letting me place it over on this end. It doesn't consider it connected, which is awfully inconvenient, to be honest. So... <laughs> Um, I might have to start getting out the super uh, super ray of doom, which unfortunately starts to destroy everything around it, which is a bit unfortunate. Ah, I found my way to get myself a few more little uh, bits and pieces. Obviously, start getting the bees back on my side. Yes, isn't that wonderful? Okay, there are a few spots where we might be able to take advantage of this, but a lot of these are still kind of dead. And that corner, yeah, I really should have uh, done something with that corner but that at least has given me a few extra bits and bobs i doubt though doubt how much else is going to work because this is way way too expensive for any of that nonsense to work out i should have been more efficient with that really what i would maybe suggest is that you pick one big area of forest just get that all done in one go which i did not do but i've got plenty of money which is a good thing because hmm got a few problems to work out still so how close actually while i've got this up can i get my death ray out i can get the death ray out which um would that save me would that sort this nonsense out over here it might do you know not sure well that's as close as i can get not sure that will reach all of these machines over there though which is not really what i wanted to see so okay we can we can try some of this nonsense. Okay, this is probably going to be the better position over here, which will inevitably cause a little bit of destruction, but it wasn't as bad as I anticipated, actually. And that's going to fill this out a little bit more. Now, do these things get in the way? I feel like these things do get in the way of those little collection things, but we shall see about that. That should give me a few more options. Now, with that done... Can we now get over here? Yes, we can. We can get... Well, we can't get over that side. But we can get a lot more of it, which is probably good. Although, do I want to get rid of both of those wind uh, turbines? Well, if I'm going to have to build more, probably not. This is where you kind of need a bit of forward planning. And forward planning, <laughs> that's not really what humans do. So, uh, what am I going to... Ah, okay, I could shoot this through here which then will connect those two parts god this feels like a more and more stupid plan by the minute fine we'll do that so 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 blast over there that's good will that one work i can always undo it if it's a problem you see that doesn't quite get me in the corner enough but it does okay it gets me to there <laughs> uh near enough i suppose near enough uh, you tell you what, we'll do this first. We'll do this one first. Take a while for it to get there. And then we can do this other corner bit. Yes, and with that done, we can now reach this corner, which is lovely. The machine will go all the way back, unfortunately. It will take itself an age to do so. But it does mean that we've now got this set up, which is nice to see. I'm a bit annoyed at all these patches. I feel like, yeah, I, I sort of said at the start, if you're a bit OCD or... This sort of thing is going to likely annoy you. I, I apologise. But yeah, I've done a really terrible job. <laughs> I think I was always trying to just stretch it a little bit more. I should probably just do it a little bit more efficiently next time. We've got quite a lot in this corner still to pick up. But we might just be able to do it, actually. We're not going to have the whole of the land dealt with. But 
if we've managed to revert most of it back to normal, then maybe maybe most of this land over time will come back. There we go. I was talking for long enough for that to disappear too. So what we really need to do is yeah get across to these ones, and we're largely largely there. Annoyingly, you had to tear a whole new hole over here because this wasn't technically a connection. This was just so irritating. Anyway, it's still not working. Is that like a... Oh, it is. It's another waterfall as far as it's concerned. Okay, let's just check that wasn't the case before. It might have been. I think, actually, I think that was the case. It's just, here you know, again, you know... Yes, okay, I can see the graphical situation now. This corner is a problem because I have to go to of these to be built, two of these little elevators in order to get to this corner. So to be honest there's only this here so that's fine enough. We'll get to that silo first. Well it isn't technically the silo, this is the loading dock, that's the silo. So the silo, does that just take things that are nowhere near water? I think it does. But I don't know if then that silo still needs to be near enough the water to be recycled by this. I'm not sure. So this has gone up. There we are. Look like it kind of Went the opposite direction for a moment. There we are, and back down the waterfall. This is just like Pokemon all over again. They've ruined the game by giving you waterfall right at the end, and you really don't want it. Okay, so with that, we can pretty much mop up. Oh, we have a lot in this. Oh, for Pete's mahogany table. Can't quite reach that last thing in the corner there. I could just leave it for now. Okay, you know what? We'll we'll grab what we can with this one for the time being. 107! Why didn't you tell me this before, game? Oh, isn't that beautiful? I probably did do that before, but it probably got demolished by um, several of these rocket cannons, which seems to be around. Oh, well, that's fine. <laughs> got that sorted. We've got these couple in the corner down here, but we're pretty much there now. How are we doing? That brings us up to 84. We're nearly there. I didn't think this through. <laughs> We've just destroyed the very... Um, Oh, no, no, oh, okay, something just happened. Okay, yeah, I destroyed the waterfall machine. So we're going to have to come back for the waterfall machine, which I suppose is fine because it should be able to be reached through the same section, I guess. Gosh, this is irritating. Okay, we're nearly there, but this is kind of where it gets particularly awkward. Yes, we have one up there. We have one over here. One over there. Okay, a few little bits and pieces, but we do have enough in the kitty to hopefully get us over the line. Kablamo! Hopefully this will do the job. Destroy all of the greenery that we just built. There we go. That's built us a lovely new little system. Tell me, please. Tell me that's enough. Tell me that can... It can't reach it all. It can't reach it. We've still got to do more. Right, how do these silos work? I probably... Let's, let's undo that first. <laughs> let's research the silos. Okay, presumably we can go to the silo and then we need to hit the silo. Oh, for Pete's sake, yes, we need to hit the silo with that, but that's up the waterfall as well. Okay, is there any way of just fitting this in? You are... That's got to be enough, right? Does that count? Hopefully that counts. Tell me it does the job. There we go. Oh dear, oh dear, this is far too complicated. So I reckon this is going to be the best plan. I think. <laughs> Can I leave with 119, which isn't a lot. But hopefully that'll get me close enough. That's destroyed so much of the ecosystem we've literally just fixed. There's not enough water to fill it up. Oh, brilliant. So that means we've got to put more water in. Which hopefully means we can just about get away with all this. Okay, can we reach all of these equipments at once? I think. I think we can. We can reach all three. I think that's just overlapping each of them where that counts. Okay. And luckily I can actually re-blast all of this, which I did ruin once again. So at the very least we can um, repair some of these areas that I keep on destroying to give myself a bit more money, which is just as well. Ah, here we are. Is that going to catch it all? It better catch it all. Very much hope it does. There we are. That's good. And then if that means we're just about done in this corner, we can grab these two bits. Not quite on the way back, but uh, close enough to the way back. And then we've got this over here. And this here. And I think... I think we're there. 
The game is desperately trying to tell me that I'm just about done now. It's pointing to all the little things. Oh no, there's one over there that I forgot about. Thank you, Mr. Game. Yeah, I might have to pick that one up with a silo, I suppose. It's the only way that one's going to happen. Which means I probably should have, um, yes, waited a minute for all of this nonsense. But we'll go and grab the silo. That's fine by me. Is it better to use the waterways of the silo? Probably, honestly, just build the silos. I think I just missed that when I played this round the first time. Uh, still, I kind of like the waterways. They don't look too weird once you start filling them with wetlands. But um, yes, the pile of rocks, some of the crisscrosses... This is not my uh, this is not my best work, but you know it's the first planet that I've turned from Fallout into Beautiful, so you know what I'm I'm happy enough with all of this. We are pretty much there now, with 172 remaining, which is just a lovely, lovely number. Just to celebrate that, I think I will spend some of my monies on this, which you know will just fill up some of the horrible. Oh, I need to now get rid of that, don't I? Are you in the radius? You are in the radius. I'm not a complete and utter fool. So, that should be should be everything, I think, ladies and gents. The game is desperately trying to point out to me what I've missed. Um, only one of them I'd officially missed. Waiting for the drone. Oh, lovely. Now, if we have a little look around, it's not perfect. But, you know, what's the last time you dealt with a nuclear fallout and uh, cleaned it up and made a beautiful, beautiful world? I don't know, ladies and gents. I don't know. But all I know is it's time to launch. Come on, Mr. Drone. Are you going to join us or are you just going to be left behind? Because that kind of defies the whole point. You joining us? No? Okay. We'll just leave that one remnant behind for future Stellaris players to come and enjoy. And with that... Oh, no, we're doing it. <laughs> no joy for Stellaris. There's a grizzly bear down there. How lovely. How beautiful. And off we go into um, the wasteland has been reclaimed. Yes, uh, some odd patches here or there, but I'd say I've done a decent enough job. And what a wonderful little game this is. We can keep following it. How far can we follow it for? No further than that. Okay. Bye. What a beautiful, beautiful game. I'd love to see how this turns out when it's in full version. Um... It's sort of game where I, I'm assuming this is not a very big, uh, a very big uh, development team or anything. So, if you like the look of this, it, it's well, it was a demo when I downloaded it, maybe like a month ago, maybe two months ago now. Um, but if you wish this on on Steam, that'll probably help it quite a lot. The demo might well still be out, so if it is, I'll probably put a little link in the description below. But um, indeed, let us continue. And with that. We've done something good for the world. You see, one small patch has been fixed, and oh, isn't that just beautiful? Presumably, as we play the game, we have more patches to fill up. Oh, look at that. Oh, glorious. Thank you, Terranel. It's been a lovely, lovely, lovely episode for our uh, sort of more puzzle strategy Wednesday games. Or at least that's what it is at the moment. We will play some um, Age of Empires very soon, because obviously... Jump Post 4 is coming out before long. In fact, I think it's Thursday week, isn't it? It's about seven or eight days' time. So Age of Empires 2 next week. We'll look at Age of Empires 4 when that comes out on the week afterwards, I think. But for now, I will, lo I will, I will love you and leave you. I'll love you and leave you because this has been a marvellous game. This is already on my wish list. Don't you worry about that, Terranil. And I'd be delighted to see how this ends up when it finally comes out. But for now, I'll leave you. I'm Thomas. This is Tenacious Human. And this has been the wonderful, the resplendent Terranil. Thank you, and goodbye. Let us have a moment for Domino then, a giant of a commander who, frankly, I completely let down. Yeah! Yes! That was so good! We'll shoot them as they land. Ow! No, we're fine! Everything is fine! Panic over! It's only a horde of Vikings, it's not actually a problem.